Okay, man, so word on the street is that Fenes two times crashes out with Honeycomb Brazy in LA. And they is really going crazy right now. Before we get into it, man, kindly do me one favor. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, turn on notification bell, so you all get notified whenever I drop a new video. Remember, this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only, so everything is allegedly. So let's get through these, man. Listen up. It's been a crazy moment between Finesse Two Times and Honeycomb Brazy ever since Honeycomb Brazy got released from prison. And you all know the situation, man. We all had the information that we was yelling free honeycomb. Now the honeycomb free. Listen up, man. When Fennis two times seen these posts, you know, he was really scared, man. He got scared. Fennis two times got scared, man. He was really scared, man. He didn't know what to do. He started denouncing mob ties. He started saying that. He's not signed to mob ties. He started saying that, you know, uh, I don't F with mob ties. You know, these ninjas are just my business partners. And he started saying a lot of things, man, just to de-associate himself with mob ties. We even noticed that Fennis two times stopped wearing the mob ties chain. You all noticed that? We haven't seen the mob ties chain on Fennis two times for over a month now. And everyone was really surprised, man, until word on the street came true that FNS two times and Honeycomb Brazy crashed out, you know, crashed out with each other in LA. And what was the situation? You all know the history, man. FNS two times has been so disrespectful to Honeycomb Brazy. He's now been loyal as a ninja who put him on when he got released from prison. Fennis two times was not loyal to Honeycomb Brazy. He wasn't returning those favors that Honeycomb Brazy did him, right? So, you all know the story, man. Honeycomb Brazy said it all. He said it that, you know, Fennis two times called him, you know, asking him for help, bro. Uh, Fennis two times called him severally, asking him to link him up with the old man, J Prince Senior, right? And he was. A lot of crazy situation, man, that Fennis two times was so scared of this OG from, from Memphis that was going to kill him when he got out of prison. Probably he got some street business with this OG from Memphis whose name start with an R, man. And he ran to Honeycomb Brazy. And Honeycomb Brazy helped him out, man. Put J Prince Senior on the phone, linked him up with Mob Ties and Rap a lot. And when Fennis two times was secured, he decided to turn his back on Honeycomb Brazy. And Honeycomb Brazy was so pissed off, right? He was so pissed off, man. Like, he was really angry at Fennis two times. He promised that he was going to destroy Fennis two times' career once he gets out of prison. And everyone was going crazy about this situation because you all know how Honeycomb Brazy is, man. He is not one of those ninjas in the street that just say stuff they don't mean, right? When he say what he said, man, he means what he said. And there's some crazy ass situation. And you all know that Fennis two times being so scared of Honeycomb Brazy for a very long time that he doesn't even want to respond to Honeycomb Brazy because after Honeycomb Brazy made all these threats when he was still locked up in prison, Fennis two times couldn't respond to this situation because he was so scared of him. So allegedly, man, word on the street said that Honeycomb Brazy and Fennis two times, you know, met up with each other in LA. They bumped into each other, man. There was no way out, man. So they crashed out, right? They crashed out. You all know how the street is, man. They crashed out. Because Honeycomb Brazy was looking for him ever since he got out of prison, man. They crashed out. Right? They crashed out as man, man. And they said that, you know, that wasn't funny, man. That wasn't funny at all, right? Because it was really a crazy and real situation. But listen up, man. At the end of the day, we have to embrace peace. There is a lot of violence going out. Going on out here, man between these black men, between these black kings. You feel me? We have to embrace peace because no one is really embracing peace at the moment. Everyone is crashing out with everyone. Everyone is pulling up on everyone. Everyone is trying to destroy everyone when we should be the ones, you know, setting up 
example for the young ones. But we are here, man, killing each other and destroying each other, which I think is really crazy and not necessary for the culture. You feel me? But at the end of the day, man, it is what it is. But remember, this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only, so everything is allegedly. But let me know what you all think under the comment section, man. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell, so you'll be the first to get notified whenever I drop a new video. And if you're feeling generous today, you can bless the channel, send a super thanks, or join the channel membership, and I give you all a very big shout out. Catch you guys later.